Hello and welcome to Rise of Cultures. This time we're fighting in the campaign map and we're taking out the Ladies Lake. Now let's start here down from the southwest and do the first battle here. Now there's a lot of troops here and a lot of heavies who won't get down to those uh, those uh, catapults down there. So we'll have to face everything else in a different manner. Now we can put in here some uh, units that can uh, seize up everything, or we can not do so, because, um, well, we would want to have our archers here, and he, well, he just doesn't uh, cut it this way, we want some uh, more ranged here, and they can do some shock dumps, and they should be able to keep them, and, well, they can't shoot at first, so let's just take them out, and let's take them out again here. And as uh, we can support them a little over here, because we are almost through here at, with the melee combat units. And uh, this way we are actually keeping our ranged troops alive. Let's move on to the second battle. And back at the beat we are going north here and taking the northwestern corner here. And it's a two wave battle, so let's just try to keep our troops alive here. Now again... Just let's put those up in the front, put some archers in here, and put this catapult over here. Now, they have them a little further up, but uh, we'll have to suffice with the, what we got, and uh, try to take them out anyway in both sides first, and see if we can make it uh, to have some of our lights to survive, but mainly we want our cavalry to survive. Uh, besides that, well, we can manage. Now see there's a lot of heavies here and we want to shock damage them as best we can here. But we have a little of all those here. And let's just let the catapults lose a shot at those. Because well that doesn't hurt the rest of our troops and that's the rest of our troops that should actually win this second round. So let's just uh, take out the ranged one of the enemies. And how about taking these last uh, the leader units and then well the archers are done. Let's move on to the third battle. Back at the beat and let's take the center one here for number three and uh, see if we can handle these bad boys. First just uh, put in the light cavalry again, light infantry, sorry, and then put in the, the cavalry here and the archers and our own catapult. Take out the catapult on one side first, as we don't have the backup of the Cavalry over here. We start over on the other side here. Let's just keep those uh, archers busy as best we can because they will soon enough get up here and it seems like they will be a bit annoying here at our range troops in a few moments. But we should still have uh, the minister numbers way enough for us to hand this battle and be victorious. Now there we go. Let's move on to the fourth battle. And the drum keeps going, and uh, let's take here for the fourth battle. Let's see how we handle this. Again, the heavies really block us from reaching the catapults. So let's not uh, bother trying and just put up the cavalry and then our own catapult. Taking it down here first. Again, because the cavalry are up north here. And just support those uh, few Spartans left here with our bulls. These troops down here, they won't stand much of a chance, but we will have those archers again because, well, in these battles, the catapults are far enough to the front line so they will hit us very early on. There we go. Let's move on to the final battle. And now let's go here for the fifth and final battle. And ensure that the catapults are far behind so they won't do much damage to our uh, light infantry, which is awesome for us and bad for them because we'll have a lot less losses this way. 
And we love it this way. Let's just keep the pressure on the archers down here. Hmm. It seems to be going a bit worse than I expected, but uh, well, we'll still have an easy win. I actually expected it to go just as well as the first battle, but uh, well, the win was never in jeopardy. I'll say thank you for watching this video.